Hello and welcome to this video. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at the soup element and the sub element or the SUP element and the SUB element. Now, the soup element stands for superscript and the sub element stands for subscript. We are going to look at all this and superscript actually puts the figure above the other and subscript puts the figure below the other. Subscript is the direct opposite of superscript. Okay, let's get started here with our code. Now in this code, uh, we want to use the soup element to um, put this th above the 15, right? So to do that, we are going to introduce, to introduce our uh, soup element just below, I mean, just next to it behind the text and we introduce the soup element, okay? The soup element, okay? And then we come just immediately after it and we introduce, uh, uh, we close the sub, okay? Or the SUP, we close the SUP, okay? Yeah, and then we save. When we go to refresh our page, remember this is our page and this is what we have. And we refresh, you see that now TH has been superscripted using the SUP element or the SOAP element. Yeah, and that one is done. Well, we go to the next. We want to make sure that this two is below H and O and that uh, it will be possible when you use the sub element, okay? <clears throat> now, sub element, we are going to come in between H and two because that's where we want it to be. And we introduce our uh, sub element. So we say sub element, and then we come just immediately after two because we only want two to be uh, subscripted. So we come and then we do the same and then we close, okay? So we are closing SUB, okay? So on doing that, you go ahead and then save, okay? After saving, <coughs> when you come to your, pro uh, the, to check it out on your browser, you realize that now two has now gone below the bar or the line. So this is how we do uh subscript i mean the the superscript and the sub or the subscript okay so uh basically that is it for today and we are gonna keep it as short as that thank you for watching let's catch up in the next video bye bye